Octopus Energy send out these FLIR cameras every single winter and your chance to get one this winter is completely gone. But if you've already on the list to get one, great, watch this video soon. But if you've not got one yet, keep an eye on their website because it's always opening up when you can get one for next year. And you might want to save this video to reference back some of the tips that I've learned from using this camera that will get the best use out of it and also explain why exactly you want one. So first things first, before you even think about getting one of these, before it's even arrived, if you've got one coming this year, do this now. If you know that you've got possible drafts, air leaks in your house, order some decorators cork. There's a link down below for some one that I've ordered and used. And also, if you know you've possibly got a little bit of leak around your doors or windows, maybe order now those window seals to go around your windows or doors to block up any possible things. Now this will spot where exactly where they're coming from if you're not sure that there is an air leak. But if you are you know, quite confident that your hall's cold and you have a front door there, there is a chance that that door is leaking heat. Now it could be leaking heat from bad sort of decorating uh, hole gaps and stuff like that you can fill with decorators cork or it could be leaking around the seal of the door but if you order this stuff now with Amazon um, I've got a link down below in the description for the stuff I've used but if it comes and you don't use it you could always send it back but if you've been told by Octopus your camera's on its way maybe get some ready so then you can go around patching it and then check afterwards that the work you've done is actually fixed it. Now the big question is that you're going to be asking have I checked my Octopus Cozy 6 heat pump with this camera? And yes, I have. And have I followed that pipe run that everyone told me I was gonna lose a ton of heat? Yes, I have. And have I also checked the insulation in my loft and around my hot water tank? Of course I have. So if you wanna see that video, hit subscribe and that notification bell because it won't be in this video because this video is all about stopping the drafts and keeping that heat in your home. Now this FLIR camera, the one that I have, just clips directly over your phone and you connect it by Wi-Fi, but they have one that plugs in the bottom of your phone as well. Now what it will do is it will highlight extremely cold and hot areas in your home and show a heat map. Now the heat map is massively over exaggerated depending on what you're looking at. If everything in the room is 20 degrees and something is 21, that will look red hot. And if something is 19 degrees, that will look stone cold. It's only gonna show that difference is, is if something is, if everything's 20 in the room and something is 14 degrees in the room, then you're gonna see exactly the same colors. It just depends what's in the frame of the, the camera's lens. Whatever you're seeing, it will exaggerate it just to help you find where to look for those cold spots. My advice would be to turn on the hot high spot and the cold low spot so you get a basically which is the highest part of the image, the hottest part of the image and what's the coldest part of the image in an actual readout at the top left of the screen. It'll actually tell you point one is this temperature, point two is this and point three is this. That's the easiest way to diagnose how to find heat loss in your home rather than just relying on that heat map that like I said can be slightly over exaggerated. Now there's two ways of using this. You can either use it from the inside or the outside of your house. If you're gonna use it from the outside of your house, first thing you wanna do is heat your home up warm. Get it as hot as possible. And then go outside and you'll actually, on the outside, be looking for hot spots on the house. So where the heat is leaking out. So the rest of the house should be cold and you should only be looking for the hot spots. The hot spots are where the heat is escaping your warm house to the outside. Now these always work best in winter, which is why Octopus really only send them out in the winter. So basically look around the windows, the doors, and the walls outside to see if you can see any hot spots and where you might be losing temperature. Now, the windows are gonna glow up red. The, the, all windows lose heat. So when you go inside the house, it doesn't really matter if the house is too warm or too cold, but you just want a differential between the inside and outside. So ideally, a warm-ish house. Now when you're doing this, go room by room. Start around the floors, around the skirting boards, look for holes there, look underneath the window sills, make for, checking for drafts around the window, window sills, and then go around the window frames themselves and look for heat loss around there. Look for, look for draft blows, blows of cold, plumes of so basically different colored areas around the window. That's showing that there may be a draft or lots of cold coming in through that space. Now, if you're looking at walls, if you see a very cold spot on one part of the wall, it might indicate a missing part of insulation in that wall. Bear in mind that if a wall is next to a radiator, everything around the radiator is gonna be red hot and then the rest of the wall around it is gonna be colder than the bit directly near the radiator. But just look for obvious parts. 
And now if you're going to go upstairs, if you're doing upstairs, look around the corners of the room where the insulation might be missing, which is what I, I was seeing in some of mine. And then look around the centre of the ceiling. That might be where the loft insulation might be squished or moved or might be gaps in it. And again, this can help you identify problems with the loft insulation up above. Also, while you're upstairs, check the loft hatch. The loft hatches are common for leaking. Uh, not all the loft hatches are insulated, so if you're not got an insulated loft hatch, this should show up really quickly. Now, Octopus only lend you this for a week, so make sure that you get the best use out of it. Not just for your home, but if you've got family, friends, neighbours who might benefit from using this, let them all know what week it's coming. Let them know that maybe you'll come around or lend it them. Let them pair it up with their phone. I've done over four homes with mine in a week. I've also done took it to work during the day and done my business premises with it. So this camera has done over five places to save on heat. Now that's the best use that you can get out of this because Octopus don't have to send five of these out. They get the most amount of use out of this and everyone gets to cut down on their energy bills on the amount of gas or electricity they're using to heat their home. Now before I said I did the Octopus Cozy 6 with this and that video is coming soon so don't, like I said, don't forget to click subscribe and the notification bell. Patrons you've already seen the flow images, YouTube membership you've also, also already seen the flow images of that but there will be a full video explaining what on the Cozy 6 I'll be insulating. If you want to learn more about heat pumps then check out this video here.